right, so here is the grocery haul for this week. This is the last grocery haul before Christmas. Um, and I just wanted to say, guys, again, thank you so much. I am at like 1,120 subscribers. My mind is blown. It's crazy. If you do like these videos, make sure you subscribe. I can actually look at my analytics and 82% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. I'm going to be doing these videos every week because that's when we get groceries. So if you like them, subscribe. All right. Anyway, let's get to the haul. So I have a case of water. We are the entertainers here on the farm. So we have to make sure we have plenty of things for our guests. So we have some water, um, a jug of apple cider, cause I like to have apple cider in the slow cooker, all that good stuff um, for, for when we're entertaining. Um, my aunt, the last time my aunt was here, she really liked this soda. So she's coming for Christmas evening. So I wanted to make sure I got her the soda that she liked. And we have some apple juice back there. I mix that with the apple cider and then put cinnamon sticks in and sliced oranges. Um, oh my gosh, it's like a perfect aroma for your house for Christmas, but it also, the apple cider tastes amazing. All right, let's go here to our produce. Um, I always keep these, um, you know, available to eat because we all love them. Now I have my vegetables for the week that I roast. So I'm still roasting vegetables even during Christmas here. So I've got my carrots, my broccoli, my br and my Brussels sprouts. Those will be rusted, rusted, disgusting. Those will be roasted um, for the week. I have a green pepper um, for when I make my homemade pasta sauce. And in here are very unripened tomatoes for my bruschetta for Christmas evening. So hopefully those will have a little bit more color to them by the by the time Christmas arrives. All right, here is some, we eat bananas all the time. Well, the kids and Joey do. Um, there's some bananas. I've got two oranges. I'll be making apple cider at two different times. So I just, you know, wanna have two different, two oranges, you know what I'm saying. All right, lemons. I love lemon water. So I have a big pitcher that I fill with water, slice a lemon up, and I, that's what I drink from like whenever we entertain. Love it. Um, I have two things of garlic here. I'm gonna cut the tops off of those, roast them, and this is gonna be for our bruschetta to spread on the bread when we toast it, um, you know, for the bruschetta. I've got two sweet onions. I just like to have those on hand, um, you know, all the time because I use them. I'm trying to remember what the red onion's for. Oh, I think the red onions for the bruschetta. Yeah, so I'll just cut that up really, really fine and just sprinkle it on the bruschetta. All right, moving on. All right, let's go. Mr. J's and his milk. <laughs> he, works, he works out all the time. He drinks his milk, protein shakes, all the things that teenage boys do. All right, I got some, a couple different kinds of coffee. Like I said, we'll be entertaining a lot. Um, I got these gold forks for when you know, people are coming over for Christmas morning and Christmas evening. I like to get the styrofoam cups for the um, hot apple cider. So, you know, people don't melt plastic cups or if we, I like to have the, you know, uniform um, cups rather than getting a bunch of different mugs out and then some extra napkins. And then these Chinette plates here and got some stuff for your armpits here. I use the native, um, and Ellie Bell uses the ladies Mitchum, I know. Interesting, right? We needed more Band-Aids, so we got these um, skin tone. Okay, uh, didn't know they were skin tone, but we'll take whatever. All right, we've got some of these styrofoam section plates that we like to keep on hand, and then this is for the bruschetta, and I was hoping that they would not expire before Christmas, but these say they're good till New Year's Eve, so we're good to go. All right, and I just got smaller loaves because for Christmas night, we do hors d'oeuvres rather than having a meal. So it's good that they're just like little bites rather than a big old hunk of bruschetta. I've got some cheese because I always worried about running out of cheese for some reason. Um, we got one thing of pita bread. This is for Christmas Eve for my spinach artichoke dip. I like to season it up and butter it up and bake it for the spinach artichoke dip. And then of course the can of artichokes for that. Um, I got a jar of salsa. I just wanna make sure we have enough for the Mexican chicken dip in the slow cooker for Christmas Eve. 
And then I got some whipped topping because we're having a chocolate pie and a pumpkin pie, and then you could put whipped cream on just about anything. <laughs> that sounded naughty. Okay. Um, then we have whole wheat spaghetti. Um, we just, we eat it a lot, so I just make sure we have it. I got some chocolate sprinkles. That's for my chocolate cake that I'll be making. And let's move to the back because we're entertaining. I just want to make sure that I have what people like. So I got these um, creamers. And then this is what I eat for breakfast every single day. The two good. Got some pumpkin for pumpkin bread and pumpkin pie. Some light brown sugar because I'm using it in so many recipes. I want to make sure I have enough. And then um, I'm making brown butter rice treats. And so I want to make sure I have enough marshmallows. All right. I think I got everything, guys. This was a smaller haul. Um, but it feels good for it to be the last one before Christmas. So here's the scan. And I'm going to need to uh, look up the price because I forgot to do that before we started the video. So I'll let you know how much it is in uh, just a second. All right. This grocery order was $178.19. There you go. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Say hello in the comments. I love talking to my friends. All right. Have a great day.